From time to time, you'll receive an access application from a coworker or an outside developer. And when you open that application, you'll get a message similar to this, a security warning. Purpose of this security warning is that Microsoft wants you to be aware that there is a potential in the application of harmful code being tied in there. Uh, certainly any access application will have code in it, unless it's uh, dead simple. And that code can be a vector for the, that, for the bad guys to put uh, malware onto your computer. And, and the security warning is just making sure that this application is not going to go open up and fire code that might be problematic. And so you have this warning that's in front of you now. And what most people will do is they'll go ahead and click the enable content. Uh, that, of course, is uh, assuming that they trust the person that gave them the application. Uh, and then they can do their work in the application. However, if you use an outside developer like myself to provide uh, applications, he or she will certainly be updating them uh, periodically. And that means that every time that you get a new application, you have to once again enable the content. There's a much simpler way to take care of this problem, and that's something called trusted locations. And to trust a location, what you would do is click on the File tab right here for Windows, for Office 7 users, that would be the Microsoft Office button, and then go to Options, Trust Center, Trust Center Location if it's not already selected, and then Trust Center se Settings and then Trusted Locations. And this screen allows you to have spots on your local hard drive or in the network that will automatically be trusted without having to go through an enable code button as you saw in the beginning. So to add a trusted location, you hit the Add New Location and you navigate to that part of your hard drive or network where you want the trusted location to be. In my case, it's Demo Security. Click OK. If you want subfolders of that location to also be trusted, and for my customers, I always ask them to click that because from time to time I'll use subfolders of the home folder of my application. And then you click OK, and you can see that the folder is now added to the trusted locations. We click OK on our way out to save all those settings. And now every time any application is open within that folder, it will bypass that opening warning. Be aware, of course, that you do not want to place files in, that, in any of those folders unless you truly do trust the person that sent them to you. For more information about how to do things in Access, please see my video library at my website, custom-software.biz.